What's going on YouTube? It is me, The Shadow Project, bringing you my first Pokemosh pitch battle against King Daddy DMAC, good friend of mine. We decided to do a little roulette here. We both played really well, and let's see how this goes. And we got a Jirachi versus Sizor. We both didn't like the situation. We probably feared that we had stuff that we really didn't have, or something. Anyways, I, we double switch. I don't like having Zapdos go up against Clefable, and I send in Metagross, and that turns out to be really good for me because he tries to trick a Toxic Orb onto me, and since I'm Steel, I won't get poisoned. So he goes for the T-Wave, and then he goes for the Seismic Toss, trying to do like a old school Blissey deal here. Anyways, he tricks back the Toxic Orb so he can maybe try and put it on something else. And I can easily welcome back the leftovers. I'm not really bothered with that. Goes for the S toss again. And finally, I get a meteor mash off, and it will do more than half. And I'm very, very happy to see that. Especially since he doesn't have the leftovers on him. Um, he uh, decides to not want to take another mash. I go for it again, and he switches to 8. Even with the resist, he's pretty frail, so he'll take a decent chunk of damage. I'm pleased to see that, and I can happily go into Slowbro uh, to take the fire physical attack. And I was looking at that, and it did quite a bit, but it turned out to be a crit, so um, it is what it is. Uh, he switches out, goes to Clefable, probably just to uh, um, absorb the special attack, but I try and send in. Rotom to absorb the thunder punch or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, he soft boils, and I know I'm not going to get anywhere with this Rotom, so I go back out to Metagross so that um, I get scared this thing away because Metagross, I think, is really my only answer for this little green ear pink punk. And uh, I go for the mash. It'll do more than half, and he'll uh, get the leftovers that he uh, stole from me for the second time now, and um, go for another soft boil. I'll go for a mash again, and one of us is just waiting for some sort of hacks. He's waiting for me to get paralyzed or miss, and I'm waiting for a crit or an attack ray, so um, whenever Game Freak wanna hooks one of us up, uh, we'll see what's going on, but I go for the mash here, and it will take him down into the red, and then the next turn I decide that now is a good time as ever to try and go for the bullet punch. Luckily I don't get paralyzed, and I end up killing the Clefable, so that's really good for me. I still have a decent chunk of my health left. I can live with that. Predicting that he would predict that I would switch, I stayed in, not thinking he would go for Earthquake, but he does, and uh, that cost me my Metagross, so that was, um, I don't know, that, that was pretty bad for me. And uh, he goes and U-turns out. I was thinking he was banded or scarfed or something, choice something. And I slack off the hit as, um, once again, preparing for an Earthquake was thinking that I would take a little bit more damage than that. But, uh, also fearing the Thunderbolt, I switch into Rotom, and uh, he tricks back his choice Scarf. And he goes into a Scizor. I go for the Shadow Ball, predicting the switch to Flygon, thinking that he would want to absorb the Thunderbolt, but that's not the case. Um, fearing something, I don't know, uh, not being able to do anything to Scizor would be a good reason to fear him. Uh, I go into Empoleon. I try and go for the Specs Hydro Pump, but it misses, and then he Thunderbolts me, which will take me a little bit below half, so I know it will two hit KO. I go for the Hydro Pump, and because I'm Specs, it will take it down to where it's almost dead. And knowing that it would Thunderbolt, because it's Scarfed, I switch into Rotom for the resist, and even with how frail he is, he takes it pretty nicely. I go for the trick here, thinking he would try and save Skarmy for a Death Fodder switch, or a Scout switch, or maybe both. I don't know. But um, 
I figured out that uh, he's gonna milk out Stormy to the end, so I send in Jirachi to try and set up. Anyways, I go for the Wish here, and then I'll go for Calm Mind on the next turn, as he whittles off another hundred or so of my hit points. With the Thunderbolt, I boost my stats with the Calm Mind, and I get half of my hit points back at the end of the turn. So things are looking pretty good for me, but then I thought he'll just send in Flygon after the Starmie's dead, even if I set up the plus six plus six, and just revenge kill me anyway. So I just decide to kill the Starmie, or try to, but he switches in Flygon early, and I end up doing a massive amount of damage to it. He sends in Starmie, and it dies by Stealth Rock, as he's able to get a Death Fodder and Scout Switch, like I figured that he would be able to use Starmie for, and uh, he knows that I'm scarfed on Shadow Ball, and he sends in Sizor for the resist. Goes for the SD, and I send in Zapdos because I know he isn't carrying a fighting move, so the worst I could think of is probably like Bullet Punch and maybe a Bug or Quick Attack. And um, knowing that he wouldn't go for a ground attack, I send in Empoleon against this Flygon, and uh, I go for the Torrent Aqua Jet, and it's able to take him out. He sends in the Infernape, and I know that after seeing my Aqua Jet, he would want a Mock Punch or Vacuum Wave. So I go into Rotom to take it, and I make a very good call and dodge it completely. So that's pretty nice. Go for the Thunderbolt and take him out. And he sends in the Sizor here, and I decide that he can't do anything to Zapdos. I'll just send him in, and he'll go for the Sword Stance. And I go for the Thunderbolt next turn, and I get a crit, and, I mean, it wasn't necessary, but it wasn't welcomed either. It was definitely one of those things that's just like, oh, come on, really? But, uh, in comes his Crobat, takes some Stealth Rock damage, he goes for the Roost to prevent him taking super effective damage from the Thunderbolt, but this Thunderbolt's gonna end up paralyzing him once again in the long run, it's unwelcomed but unnecessary and I'm gonna be able to finish him off with this final Thunderbolt so that was a very good game played by the both of us and um, I hope you enjoyed this battle uh, comment rate subscribe you guys and peace